Every week, Action News Jax investigates local child care centers to show you how they measure up to state guidelines. In this week's Kid Care Report, Letitia Bariola visited a daycare over an issue with the director's credentials. This week, I picked up a small stack of reports from DCF. I went to Jack's Beach and the West Side to visit a daycare with a Class 2 violation and another with a record of clean reports. My first stop, Montessori Tide School in Jacksonville Beach. During its recent routine DCF inspection, it was tagged with a Class 2 violation. According to the state, a Class 2 could pose a threat to the health and safety of a child. The inspector noted the director did not have an active director credential. I couldn't access the door because of the gate, so I gave the director, Brad Hutton, a call to hear what he thinks about the violation. Hi, uh, this is Letitia Bariola with Action News Jax. Hutton told me it was because of his director wanting to retire in a few years, so he was going through the process of getting his credential. Hutton said when he called DCF and asked about it, they told him it wasn't a big deal and he could have a provisional license for six months. They never mentioned a two, class two violation. They made it sound like it, it was normal. Um, had this, had I known they were going to have a class two violation and you guys were going to put me on the news, I would have. I would have had my old director do the renewal. It's not that big a deal. Montessori Tide School has that provisional license until November 22nd. The next daycare in this week's Kid Care Report is Strive for Excellence Learning Academy, Inc. Its most recent inspection was clean. I showed up during nap time, so we had to keep it down. How do you feel about that? Great. The most recent violation was last year, a Class 3, which is the least serious according to DCF. The inspector says the provider didn't notify the health department of an outbreak of hand, foot, and mouth disease. The employee said they simply didn't know to do that, and now they know. Two daycares in this week's Kid Care Report, one made the grade, the other missed the mark. Go to actionnewsjacks.com to see how you can search for your daycare records. In the studio, Letitia Bariola, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.